the President's remarks upon the arrival of King Faisal of Saudi Arabia from the South Lawn of the White House, June 21, 1966. Your Majesty, Alan Wa Salan, though the pronunciation of that traditional Arabic greeting may not be fully correct, the warmth of the welcome it conveys is very real and sincere. We have long looked forward to Your Majesty's visit. We are greatly honored and very pleased to have you here today at the White House as our guest. I know that you're no stranger to our country. You first came to the United States in 1943 as the guest then of President Franklin D. Roosevelt at a time when we were deep in a global war to turn back aggression. I am sure that you've sensed, even in those dark days, the dedication of this country and its people to the defense of human rights, to the dignity of the individual, and to the freedom and independence of all countries. Your Majesty yourself contributed significantly to these principles by your participation in the 1945 San Francisco Conference, which established the United Nations. Among the many links which our two countries have shared that we have worked together in that great international organization and in the cause of peace and progress in the world. Since those stirring days, you have visited our country many times and in various capacities. These visits have, I am sure, given you a deep insight into our problems as well as our efforts to surmount those problems. They have also given us the opportunity to draw upon your wisdom and to learn from you. Your country, under Your Majesty's wise rule, has made great strides forward. Roads and public works and health services and new schools and new educational opportunities for the young men and women of Saudi Arabia, all these stand as eloquent testimony to your active development efforts. We have watched these with keen interest and real admiration. We Americans are proud to have played a part in Saudi Arabia's development, and from this cooperation, the respect and understanding between our two governments and our two peoples have grown. Our relations with Saudi Arabia have been long close and cordial. They have been characterized by friendship, frankness, and a mutual consideration for each other's problems. We are living in a world of change, but we, like you, favor change by peaceful methods. Only thus can the God-given talents of all of our citizens be constructively devoted to the arresting challenges which today face mankind. Your Majesty, we are very delighted to have you here again as the distinguished and much respected and admired leader of a great and friendly country. The American government and the American people for whom I speak extend their hospitality to you. I am confident that you will find it as warm as proverbial Arab hospitality. We look forward to to very fruitful exchanges of views these next few days. As the venerable Arabic say, saying has it, our house is your house. Once again, I extend to you on behalf of all the American people a hearty welcome to our land. <laughs> 